After making this layered map of New York City, I wanted to make a map of New York State for a wall in my studio space. Today, I'll walk you through my simple process of making a laser engraved map. We'll be using an app called Laser Map Maker, which you can learn more about in my previous layered map video. Using the app, I create a new project and call it New York State. Using my mouse, I'll scroll my mouse wheel down to zoom out and use the left click to pan around until I have New York State centered on my screen. Then, I use the zoom feature at the toolbar at the top right of the screen and type in the exact amount for the zoom level. Once I'm satisfied with the area, I use the lock feature at the top of the toolbar. Using the tools at the bottom left of the screen, I click to add a new layer and title it State Boundary. I find the boundary layers, select state and provinces, and create the layer. We'll see all the boundaries of each state appear on the screen. Now, we'll repeat the same steps and create a layer for the country boundaries. This is a good time to unlock the screen and pan around to center New York State in the map. You can also use the aspect ratio tool to change the shape of the boundary. I'm keeping this one a square so that it matches the same size as my map of New York City. For the last layer, we'll create one for all the roads. This will add a higher level of detail to the map and make it look really cool. You can also add a layer for water which will highlight all the lakes in New York. I usually go through all the road layers and delete the ones that don't contribute to the map. This keeps the file organized. With a click of a button, we can export each layer, select outlines, and save the SVG output file. I open the layers in Adobe Illustrator to check if the file is correct and copy every layer into one file as different colors. I resize the layers to match my other map, give it a final review, and save it as a SVG file for laser cutting. I place a sheet of 8th inch cherry plywood on the cutting bed of my laser cutter and start the process of cutting each layer. I'm enjoying the Laser Map Maker website because it makes it easy to create maps of any place in the world. There are lots of different layers that can be used to create a specific kind of map like a layered city map with roads and water, a simple engraved map like this one, or even a topographic map of a mountain or state park. I found a few things that the Laser Map Maker website can improve, like incorrect exports and simplifying lines. But for the kinds of maps that I've been making, this hasn't been an issue. When I was watching the laser cut the last layer of the file, I realized that I made a mistake where the country boundaries were being laser cut. I stopped the cut and decided to change the material to mahogany, which is why you'll see the type of wood and its color change in the next part of this video. The map took a total of 26 minutes to engrave and laser cut. I moved the map to my work table and applied a natural oil finish to the surface. This brings out the natural beauty of the wood and adds a layer of protection to the surface. With that, this project is complete. This is one of the fastest map projects that I've made with my laser cutter and I'm looking forward to making more of them. If you're interested in trying it out and want to support my channel, feel free to use my affiliate link for the Laser Map Maker website in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this project, check out my other wood craft videos and consider subscribing. I'll see you again next week.